what we're going to make today is um, a beef stew, goulash, or beef and noodles. What I found is everybody calls it something a little bit different. Um, first step that you have to do is you have the uh, stew meat. This is roughly about two pounds. It's a little bit more than I like to use. So what you want to do is um, brown it. That's the first step. So let's brown that up. If you have excess liquid after browning the meat, you'll want to drain that. I've already drained that. Uh, the meat is browned. And now we're going to add in some carrots and onions. them a little bit with the meat. Now I'm going to add in uh, two cloves of chopped garlic. Give that a good stir. Just saute that a little bit. And right now I'm using my slow cooker that lets me saute. If you um, don't have a slow cooker, you could just do this in a regular um, stock pot on the stove top. It's totally fine. Uh, you could do exactly what I'm saying. In that, with that scenario. Now uh, we're going to add in a squeeze of ketchup. I don't really measure it, I just eyeball it, so bear with me. Um, <coughs> so we'll squeeze in, it's probably about a third of a cup of ketchup. Gonna dash in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Not too much, be careful because it can get salty. Um, I have a packet of brown gravy. I'm going to add that in, but if you don't have a packet, you can just use flour and um, with a little bit of mixture of water to help thicken it. Once I have that in, I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to add in approximately a cup or so of white wine. Just eyeball it. Use a white wine that you like. You can use a cooking wine. It doesn't matter. Give it a good stir. I found that when I'm cooking, adding a little bit of wine really makes it um, tasty. It helps to tenderize the meat. Now let's add in some seasoning. We're gonna dash in some salt. I just eyeball it. Just be careful, you don't wanna do too much. Some pepper. Again, eyeballing it. 
basil, uh, excuse me, oregano. And I'm going to give that a nice little stir. on that saute mode. I'm going to add in two bay leaves and then I'm going to add in some beef broth. Let me go get that. Now I'm adding in a box. It's 32 ounces of low sodium beef broth. Just want to be careful about all the things that you add in the amount of salt that's in it so if I can use a low sodium option I do and I'm going to give this a good stir try to scrape up what's on those sides and then I'm going to add in some water to get the liquid level a little bit higher Water has been added, uh, approximately three 16 ounce cupfuls, Pro approximately about 45 ounces of water got added to the pot. I gave it a good stir and now I'm going to cover this um, slow cooker and set it on high temperature for five to six hours to let it cook. About five hours has passed, and uh, now I'm going to add a bag of egg noodles. Let me give it a really good stir. and I'm going to cook for about another half an hour. As you can see, this is just finishing up. Um, you'll want to give it a good stir and before you serve it, you'll want to um, remove those bay leaves and throw them out. So there it is. There's the final product. Enjoy. Enjoy.